deeper. Okay, so I don't know. I'm kind of a coffee snob. Um, I wasn't always like that. In fact, I didn't even start drinking coffee until I was in, oh my gosh, maybe my early 20s. Um, I never really liked it when I was younger. And now I'm just obsessed with it. And so recently I found some really amazing coffee straight up here from Florida. And it's called Amavita. So if you ever get a chance to check them out, oh my gosh, that coffee is amazing. But anyway, hi, Mary. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Renee. I'm so excited y'all are here. Hi, Marie. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Oh my gosh, what a morning. Okay. Oh, so here we go. I'm going to show this a little bit real quick um, in case you haven't seen it. But what I love about this collection is, first of all, color play is right is made right there on site. So that is absolutely fabulous. So we never run out of it. Um, and then the second thing is, is that on the back of the front page, you actually get an extra sheet. So that's pretty cool. And I really love the blues and the browns and the greens and the reds. This is just a really cute collection. So our first one is called Cup of Joe. And of course, because we have tons of cups of different types of coffee, our lattes, our cappuccinos, our frappuccinos, our iced coffees, yum, yum. And then on the other side, we have our um, white polka dots on top of red. Hopefully it's starting to act crazy again. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't look crazy for y'all. Just let me know. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Charlene. Okay, and then this one is called Express Yell Sale with stripes. And then I love the florals on this side. And then of course we have all our sentiments and this one's called But First Coffee. And you have your four by sixes and three by four, so cute. And then we have our coffee leaf on the opposite side. So this is a little bit of a smaller collection, but I love it. Um, and also, uh, I don't know if you can see the back here, hopefully there's not a glare. But this is our little um, die cuts, and they're so cute, made with cardstock. Love, love, love. So let's go ahead and get started, because I know someone thinks that it's going to be something that looks like theirs, but it's not. Okay, so this is what it looks like all done up. Is this not too cute? So you can hold four little coffee pods, or you could actually put two coffee co coffee pods in at the Dollar Tree. They have like these sample coffee mate creamers. You could put in some coffee beans. It'd be so stinking cute. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Teresa. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started, guys. This is so easy speezy. You're gonna love it. So let me cut off our little edge here, okay? And make sure that I did it just right. I think I need to do just a smidge. Okay. There we go. So um, this is going to be the outside, okay? So this is how easy this is going to be. So you're going to score at two inches, four inches, oops, sorry, eight inches, and ten, and then we're going to flip it over. And again, we're going to do those same score lines at two, four, eight, and ten. Okay, now this is going to be pretty simple. So on each, okay, let me use these scissors, see if I can see today. So for each corner, we're going to cut out these three squares, okay? And make sure you cut out the spore line as well because it'll just get in the way. Okay, so this is going to be pretty easy. I really need a longer pair of scissors, but maybe I'll use these. Hi, Jillian. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Now, on two of the sides, there is one thing I'm going to do. So from this right here, the second score line, well, actually, this is your first score line. To your second score line, we're going to cut out a little sliver here, okay, so that we can make our box. 
And then we're going to keep going. If I miss any of your questions, I will respond to them at the end. Oh, and about the giveaway. So in order to be eligible for the giveaway, I kind of listed it at the top of the video. Um, all you have to do is comment. And then um, Joey from the office is going to let y'all know who the winner is. She's doing the, I guess I can't remember what you call it, but the little number generator, I guess, or name generator, <laughs> one of those things. Okay. Then on this side, I don't have to do that little sliver, so it's going to be pretty easy. Oh, and our giveaway, because I didn't mention that, it's going to be the daily grind. That's going to be our giveaway. So I will be so excited to find out who wins, because um, I love this paper. Okay, and then, no, I do want to actually do it on this side. I apologize. I do, I do, I do. Let me just cut out this little sliver. Sorry if this is going to look a little bit crazy. But I've had four cups of coffee this morning. I had to go get my blood drawn, and the only thing I could have was coffee. So, yeah, I'm kind of a little shaky. I apologize. Oh, yes. Yes, Mary. It's I just love this paper collection. And... I know you'll love this, Mary, because you love coffee. Okay, so we're going to keep on cutting this out. Okay, so look at how easy that was, guys. Okay, so basically you're going to have two flaps on each end. Okay, and then you should have two rectangles. So two here, two here, two here, and two here. So it's pretty easy. I am going to have the measurements down for you after the live show. I just got to make them look real pretty for you. Okay. <laughs> so let me get out my little mat here. And there is one thing I do want to do, and I know this kind of sounds crazy, but I'm just going to trim off a tiny little sliver, about a 16th of an inch off of each of these four edges. Okay. That's just so that it tucks and folds over really nicely, okay? How about a tea collection? You know what? I will talk to Becky about that. I think we really should have a tea collection too. Because I just started the paleo and we're not allowed to have a whole lot of coffee. In fact, I overdid it today. <laughs> That's why I'm all like spazzeroni. Um, anyway, so you know, but you can have tea. So that's always great. So I can't wait to uh, get started with tea. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to go ahead and fold it on all the score lines. Let me get out this little baby. Yeah, I know, right guys? Am I <laughs> sorry, I'm spazzing out. Oh my goodness. But then I've missed crafting with y'all too. So I'm always excited to see y'all. Well, hear from y'all, actually. Read y'all's comments. It was a long vacation. And my kids aren't even back in school yet. Crazy. Okay, you know what? I think I missed this little side. I can tell. Do a little slipper. There we go. Hello from Italy. Oh, my gosh. One day I will go to Italy. Okay, and then let me go ahead and fold on these real quick. I'm just going to turn it. Okay. Now, this one I'm not that concerned about. Um, you could actually, well, you really won't need to. You'll see in just a second. Well, hopefully not. Whoops. Gosh, I'm making a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this whole little tab. And, of course, my glue doesn't want to come out too. What else could go wrong today, guys? I'm telling you. Spaz wrote, yep. 
I don't know, is that from um, The Breakfast Club or something like that? Who knows? Yeah, I'm an old school 80s girl. Okay, so then we're going to do these two sides. Pull those up. And then I'm going to fold this down. Okay. And I'm going to push in the sides at the same time before it dries. And then, I'm sorry, I'm going to fold this over real quick so I can show you exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, then I'm going to press it down. Hopefully y'all can see this. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to smooth it down in there, okay? Don't worry about the bottom. They are not going to see that, okay? Sure not. And we will add the glue here as well. I'm just making a hot mess with my glue and everything. Yes, this is Art Glitter Glue. And I know that there's a lot of online retailers that are selling this, but I'm not sure if they're selling it right now because it's still cold. Now, um, I'm not going to lie, it is warm here today, but I'm in Florida, so I apologize. <laughs> I feel so. Actually, I miss the winter. I do. It did. It kind of didn't feel like Christmas. It was very strange. Okay, so we're going to press that down, burnish it in, and then we're just going to fold over our last two. Is it warm in Italy or is it cold there right now? I'm always curious. And then I'm just going to, oops, wrong one. Let me use a dry wipey. Okay. What is Art Glitter Glue? It's actually, the company is called Art Glitter, and the brand of this Art Glitter Glue is Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. So um, it's a permanent water-based, non-toxic, and dries acid-free. Plus it dries clear, which is really nice. And it's not the fastest drying glue, but it is really fast compared to others. So um, I will say that it works really well. But I know there are some other glues that dry really quickly and clear that are available right now as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick on this little piece. Our next piece that we're going to do, and I already have mine pre-cut, but let me show you. So we're going to get out our cutting board or our scoring board, whatever you want to do. And at, how would you say? three and uh, I think it's 15 16 I think that's what Monica told me but anyway so if you have your four inches right we're gonna cut four inches but I want you to move it over to the right one so that is just a slight hair below four inches or you could cut it at four inches and then take off a sixteenth of an inch either way it's gonna be a sixteenth of an inch shorter than four inches and you're gonna keep your 12 inch length okay then we're going to grab our my glitter glue. Let me put that on top real quick. Okay. So this way, if you do it four inches exactly, it's not going to slide in here. Okay. You're going to on the long side. Well, shall we say this is really the short side? You're going to score at two inches, six inches, and ten inches. Okay. And then we're going to fold on that score line, okay? Man, did I do a bad job cutting? That's okay. We'll make it work. And then we're going to do the other side. And then, of course, our center, okay? Now, what you would do with your, I don't have any punches. Um, personally, I don't really like them because they go dull very quickly. And so I basically just use die cuts. So I decided to use this little heart one this time. Last time I used an oval shaped die cut. Okay. And so here's your little two inch right here. If you're using your score pal or scoreboard to line it up, you're going to go right here. This is your center just below the two. Okay. So I'm just going to line it up. Then I'm going to drag it down approximately a quarter of an inch. I'm not like going too crazy, okay? I'm not trying to um, give it too much of a lip, I guess you want to say. 
but you could go as low as half of an inch. And then you would put it through your die cut machine, okay? So on this side, um, well, sorry, excuse me. Now I'm gonna grab out the one I've already, you know, cut, die cut, okay? And I love this little coffee mug design here. I used it on my last one. So this is gonna be pretty easy. You're gonna get out your glue again. And I want to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm just going to go along that edge there, okay? I'm not going to do the bottom part just yet. I'm going to line it up. And this is wet. I don't want that one. And I'm going to burnish it in, okay? And wipe away any hexus glue that comes out. So at this point, it's ready to go in. Now, I made extra little pieces for this box, okay? But um, you don't have to do that. But because this paper is not multi-directional, I'm making a little coffee pod holder. But you could use it for more than that. You could use it with a Valentine's paper as well and put in those little sweethearts with the little plastic baggies and cards and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so I'm not worried about the multi-direction, I mean, you know, about it being multi-directional because I'm gonna go ahead and make this even stronger even though this is pretty solid, okay? Um, I wanna go ahead and use the leaf, but we'll go with that in just a moment, okay? Let's go ahead and make sure it fits in here first. <laughs> before I'm crazy, and it does. Just in case I had to take off a little smidge here or there. So now your coffee pod holder is a four by four box. And your coffee pods themselves are slightly under two inches, okay? And I guess maybe it depends on what brand you have, but um, my brand is, okay? And then I'm gonna Push this down in here, burnish it in, do the same on this side. Now, if you don't want this to move, I'm not worried about it because once I put in my coffee pods and my little floof, okay, it's going to, oh, can I repeat what the glue is? It is Art Glitter dry, uh, Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. And, um, we really like this clip, but if you want to, you could actually put a little bit of glue on each side here and then use a rubber band to hold it tight, but I'm not going to do that today because I know the pods are going to hold this up anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, so here we go with, you're going to need four of these. This is going to be three and three quarters by one and three quarters. Okay. Oh, I forgot about, I want to go ahead and ink my babies up. So this is walnut stain. Perfect for a coffee look. I'm just going to go around my little edges real quick. I forgot to do that earlier, but I don't want to have naked sides. Okay. Hi, daddy. And Debbie, thank you for writing that down for me. Okay. We're almost ready. Because I like it looking really good here. Right? <laughs> I don't know who can craft without being caffeinated. I, I don't even know what life is like without having caffeine. I think maybe two times in my life I ran out of coffee and I went cray cray. Okay. You don't want to know me when I haven't had coffee. I'm, I'm a zombie. Okay. So I'm going to grab my little leaves and I think I'm going to have mine straight up instead of down. Okay. I don't know why my, I just opened up this bottle of glue 
And so it seems to be going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I'm just going to center this. Okay. I'm going to hold my hand underneath there and smooth it down so I don't crush my box. And I'm just going to keep going around. This way, since the paper goes in one direction, I can um, cover it up with these and then it won't matter. Okay, I have all, okay. Why am I saying I want the leaves going up when they're, <laughs> they go up and down? I, I'm telling you, I'm crazy today. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You all didn't hear that from me. Okay. Um, no, I'm not reviewing the comments. Oh, no, I will review the comments, but I'm not um, doing the winner for the paper collection. That's going to be Joey. And she works in the photo play office. Okay. So now we're almost done. I almost feel like I want to glue, but I'm going to, maybe I'll do it later. Ooh, let me do the inside of my little, hello. The inside of my heart is naked. All right, let's get that brown in there. There we go. That's better. Okay, let me grab out my die cuts. Where did I put them? Oops, crazy guys. Guys, you can't trust me with anything. I will lose it in 20 seconds. I don't know if y'all are like that too, but what on earth? Wow, that's really trippy. Oh, here they are, behind me. Durr. Okay, sorry. I love how the angry faces come in in between my comments. <laughs> uh -oh. And then if you want to get some, let me see if I put it over here. Here they are. I get these from the Dollar Tree. Love the Dollar Tree for anything and everything. It's over in the hardware section, which is really bizarre, but this is going to be your little um, foam dots, okay, and they're double-sided, so that's great. I think this time I might use, I'm going to use this, that's a little bit big. Let me go on in here. Let me dump all of these out so I can really have a look at them. Oh, the donut is so cute. I hope they make another coffee collection, too, and then a tea one. Would y'all like to see the tea shabby chic or um, modern like this one? I think that'll look cute right there. I mean, you could make this for any holiday. Seriously, it could be just as a gift for a friend for their birthday, something fun like that. And then we can put our little tag up here that says coffee is a hug and a mug. And it is. So I'm going to put that one right about there. Okay, I don't want to block where you put your fingers, but. And then we have our little cappuccino. I guess that's what it is. You know who knows more about these coffees is our ladies from Italy. They would know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a cap. Okay, thank you, Mary. I will definitely talk to them about that. I think they'll love that idea. And then I'm just going to center this. Okay. Right there. And then I'm going to have a little tag going across the front that says espresso sale. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll have it kind of off to the side. I don't know. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Sorry. I have one of my little hearts that I made out of some of my extra paper left over from yesterday. And I'm just going to include that little baby on this side right up there. 
So all you have to do is fill this with bloop and your coffee pods or anything else you want to put in here. Some candy. Ooh, chocolate covered coffee beans would be great too in a little baggie. So stinking cute. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. And don't forget, um, thank you for all your comments. Thank you for joining me. And Joey's going to announce the winner. So thank you so much, guys. And I will see you not next week, but the week after. And I think we're going to work on stamps. So hope y'all have a great and fabulous week, guys. Bye, y'all. Thank you.